welcome to Sweet and Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews and look, my hands are free! I've decided to prop my camera up for once which is going to hopefully make this uh, beer review a lot easier. So yeah, it's been a while again, I really want to get through these beers but I've been so busy this holiday. Uh, we've been actually been away, been to the Summer Isles in Scotland. If you follow my um, Instagram channel you'll see that I've been uploading a few Scottish supermarket beers and stuff that I've been reviewing on, along the way. So I am still reviewing beers, just not doing the actual videos on YouTube. So yeah, I, I also do. I also put those on my um, Facebook page as well. Uh, this week in Steve Bargain Beer Reviewer. So anyway, without that, here we are. So I'm going to continue the black sheep. I'm going to try and get all the black sheep done together. Um, so here we go. Um, Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars are all right tonight. Another Paul McCartney song there. Homage to Paul McCartney. Um, yeah, it's been. Um, He's in vogue in it at the moment with me. I think I used a Paul McCartney sort of reference in my last beer review. Or one of them anyway. So anyway, here we go. So, it, this one says, let's read the front. I've not read the back yet. I like to keep the back as a little bit of a surprise. See if I'm right, see if I'm wrong, see if it's anything like I think it is. It says a hop forward, pale ale, uh, born and bred in Masham, Yorkshire, alcoholic volume 4.5. Nice little session beer. I believe I've had this before and I think it was really nice. So, here we go. I'm excited. The can smell there, getting a nice lemon citrusiness there coming through. Oh, I can use both my hands now so you can see me pouring it semi-properly, he says. So, I'm going to go in there and I'm only going to put that much in because I want to swish it around. I don't want to end up spilling everywhere. Got some nice lace in. It's got a lovely, sort of almost a caramelly goldeny colour there. Oh, and it, it smells very nice. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting them really sort of like chunky citrusy. Uh, lemon grapefruit is that conditioned I think it might be the condensation on the glass that makes it look a little bit sedimenty but I don't think it's sediment I think that's been filtered mm, it smells very inviting little, little orange notes in there little tangerines quite sweet got that almost like a little bit of a mangoiness going on in there as well very nice it smells like your supermarket craft beer this Oh, it's just really inviting. It's got that nice, fresh, sweet, citrusy. Um, so I'm just looking at a big spider climb up the wall. Don't like spiders much. Don't mind them, but oh, something about spiders, isn't this? The movement, I think, that um, people don't like. Anyway, back to the beer. That's all right. I, I, I can see myself when I'm recording, so I can see what an idiot I look like. <laughs> I've had my hair cut now, by the way. Again, cut it down to boss. Since I started losing it, I just like to get rid of it now. You know, I did have long hair once upon a time. Used to look a bit like uh, when Stuart Picard, if you're watching, who used to have hair like you at one time. Weren't ginger, but you know, it were um, it were long and curly. So anyway, uh, let's get in with the beer. Come on, I'm talking crap here. Let's go. Mm, very nice. What I'm picking up on that is a very lovely caramel in this. Lovely caramel note coming through on that um, from the malts, which is really nice. That's the first thing I noticed. But it works really well with that like citrusiness. The the, the, the slight tart of the citrus and the the caramel are really working fusing together. Um, are the flavours coming through from the smell? I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is quite cold. It's just come out of the fridge. It's warming up a little bit now. So it might be that it's a little bit too cold. Let's have another go. Mm. They're there. They're not as forward as they are on the, on the aroma. But they're there. It's almost like... Um, it's almost... I don't know whether it's a caramel or something. It's almost made it go into sort of like... Um, when you have like a, like a fruit crumble or something. It almost comes into like a peachiness actually on the flavour, but like a peachiness that you get when you're having like a, a like a, a really sickly dessert, like a crumble custard dessert sort of thing, you know. For me, anyway, most people drinking this will probably not pick that up at all, so please don't. Uh... All you need to know is this is very nice. It's a lovely beer. It's the best one I think so far of the three I've drunk so far. I think that's really nice. One fifty um, a bottle. It's worth it. Five hundred mils. It's keeping its lacing really well. Sure, it's had a good quality. I'd, 
So what we're saying here, we're saying it's nice as a trick. So it's got nice carrots. The, the caramelness from the malts is, is really balancing this beer out nice. But it has got that zestiness. It's got that nice little tingliness. Nice little, uh, almost like a little sting on your tongue, which is really pleasant. But it's not too bitter. It's not griping away. It's not to the point where you're like, mm, too tart. It's actually really well balanced, but it, those those little hops are coming through, and they're nice. They're, I mean, sell little hops. They're definitely continental hops. I'm pretty sure. I think there might be a Cascade in there, or a Chinook, or a Centennial, or any of those things. You know, any of those beers that begin with the letter C, any of those hops sorry, that begin with the letter C that are from America. I'm saying Chinook probably and Cascade. Yeah, the more you drink it, the more bitter it gets. The more. The more though that the, the um, citrusiness of the beer comes through on your tongue. Uh, let's fill it up, let's finish it off, shall we? This is a lovely beer. It's really nice. Um I gave the I think I gave 7.8 were the last one. 7.8. And I gave it I think I gave the last two similar marks because they were very similar. And I think this is a beer you can drink cold, quite cold. A little bit colder than you drink your real ales because I think those citrus hops can pierce through that cold beer and it's nice. When it warms up, you will get more flavours coming through, but it's quite refreshing. It's quite, if in a hot day, this is lovely. Hot weather beer. Let's see what it says. Our shepherds looked over the sky across the universe. Venus, the goddess of beauty, seduces the god of agriculture, Mars, to produce a beer which is out of this world. Ooh. Uh, malts, we've got pale ale, uh, caramel, caramel, that'll be what's giving it that caramel in a bit. Hops, first gold, summit, chinook, ancient alchemy in full force. I said chinook, didn't I? Summit, I think summit's a British, is summit, summit's a British hop, I think it is. First gold definitely is. First gold, yeah, you get, yeah, you're getting, um, uh, Maybe like a little slight spiciness from the gold. There's there's like a spice or something going off there. I was going to say earlier that it reminded me something that's quite British anyway. It, it's lovely. It's a lovely beer. Um, is it a beer if you're a lager drinker to go straight onto this? Nah, I think it'd be too. Still a little bit too hoppy. A little bit too, a bit too offensive to your relatively. Lager-like taste palette. I don't, I don't think anybody who drinks lager. Um, but for somebody who's a real ale drinker like myself, and a craft beer drinker as well, they're up here. Craft beer, they're still drinking. Um, oh, by the way, go to Scott one. Supermarket beers, really nice. Joe Craft Beer, really like that one. My favourite supermarket one that I had out of the supermarket beers. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. Uh, what were I saying? Mm. Yeah, so if, if you're a real ale drinker, if, you're, if, you're, if you love your soft market real ales and you like something that's hoppy, something that's sub summery, this is the beer. Uh, where do I go with this one? I think this is a really nice beer. I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. 8.2. I think it's a little better than 8. It's definitely better than the ones I tried before. There was nothing wrong with the other ones I tried before. This one has something else to offer. You can tell it's Black Sheep trying to adventure into those. Um, it's not obviously not a craft beer, but... This is equal to a lot of the supermarket craft beers, I think. Um, maybe not so much the Magic Rock stuff, because I think that is still a little bit of a league above the other supermarket craft ales. But I, I think this is an absolutely superb beer. 8.2%. Uh, 8.2% 8.2 out of 10. So, um, come and follow me on uh, Facebook. Come and follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, actually. Not Twitter. Uh, I'm on... Um, yeah, Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I never use Twitter, so... Follow me on Twitter if you want to. But Instagram's the one. Instagram and Facebook are the other ones I use. It's been nice talking to you. I'll see you around. I have blabbered on a little bit, but it has been a while, so I thought I'd get to talk a little bit. Uh, hopefully, now I can set this up a little bit more conveniently. I'll set up a few more beer reviews soon. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.